In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the fuel pump on this BMW X5. This is gonna be located underneath the back seat on the passenger side. Let's get into it. You wanna remove the back seat, just grab under the front, lift up. And you're gonna push the seat belts through. Pull those out. Move that forward. If you want to, you can disconnect the belt from the base right here. Use a T50 socket, take this bolt out. Slide that through the seat. Just be careful not to rip anything. Then you can pull the seat out of the vehicle. Now we're gonna remove this trim piece. Before we do that, take the weather strip. You just wanna pull that up. Just like that. Pull that out of the way. Then just grab the trim. Pull it towards the front of the vehicle with a little force. And then just pull up. There's push pins holding it in. And do the same on the other side. Now we take the carpet, lift it up, and we'll roll it forward. Pull these covers off. Take this cover off. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these nuts out. Grab the cover, pull it up. And we can push the grommet through. Connect the connectors, just push on the tabs, and disconnect those. Pull the wires through the cover, set that aside. Now we're gonna start the vehicle and let the vehicle stall so that there's no fuel pressure in the back of the system. Now we can disconnect this fuel line right here. Just push down on the tab, slide it forward. Pop that off, you can push that out of the way. You can put a rag over just in case there was a little fuel spray, but we didn't have any, that was good. There's a clamp right here, we're gonna have to loosen up the clamp. We're using a seven millimeter socket, loosen up the clamp. All right, if you reach down in here, there's a connector. wire connector right here. I'm gonna disconnect that. Just push on the two tabs on the side. And then there's a fuel line right here. I'm gonna pop that off. Just push on the tab, pull that up. It separates that. There's two hoses right here. I'm gonna take those hoses off. You just pop those out of the retainers. Just wanna push those to the side. I just slowly pull this out. I'm just gonna let some of that fuel drain a little bit. Got a bucket, just gonna go put it in the bucket. 
Now carefully take the fuel pump, slide the float in, slide that in. Then you kind of have to move it out of the way so that you can get to the lines that you need. Pull this line up and the other two. Try to get the other two lines in first. There we go. There they are right there. Okay, so you want these lines to go in the two slots right there. right next to it. So those are pointed down. Those are out of the way. Now we're gonna get the other line. So reach around, feel for that. To make this a little easier, this rod right here will push down and you have a little bit more room to grab line there we go there's the line I'm gonna connect the connector first right there and then connect the line to the base push it down, those are all connected. Then you can take that rod, slide it back up, get that lined up, push that in place. All right, get these hoses out of the way. And before we push that on, we gotta get the seal on. Take the new seal, slide it around the pump, Get that lined up. And then there's a little tab right here that lines up with the tab in the back. Push that on. Everything's out of the way. Now we'll get that lock ring. And that's gonna line up with the tab as well. For getting on, I'm just gonna slip one side in first and then wrap it around. You can use the snap ring pliers if you want to, but it's not as hard as taking it off. There we go, that's lined up. Just take the ratchet and tighten it down. All right, snug that down, take the line, lock that in place, and you want to take the cover the connectors go through the cover push the grommet in place now connect these two connectors they only go one way that one goes there this other one goes here lock that down Push that in place, take the nuts, get the nuts started. And tighten down the nuts. Take the cover. Line it up. I'm gonna take the carpet, slide that back in place, make sure that looks good on both sides. I'm gonna take the panel, get that lined up, snap it in place. Underneath the seat right there, make sure 
Okay, that's lined up. Take the weather strip, push that back in place. There we go, that's good. Do the same on the other side. Take the back seat, get this lined up. I'm gonna take the seat belt and go through the slot. Just make sure it's not twisted. Gonna go right there in the buckle and go right over it. Take the bolt, get the bolt started. Tighten that down. Now torque that bolt to 46 foot pounds. Now line the seat belts up. The buckles, you want the buckles to go through. You can reach underneath from the front to help access the buckle. There we go. This. That's good. And push the seat down. Just like that. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.